family. Today is July the 1st. Today, the state of Virginia is entering phase three of reopening during this pandemic. As I said last week, I wanted to give you an update on what ministry at Olive Branch will look like during phase three. I expect phase three is going to last not just for a few weeks, but several weeks and maybe several months. So the information I give for you today is for the immediate future, but of course things are always changing. And so uh, always be listening for new updates on how things will be going. I want to tell you about worship. We will continue to have a 9 a.m. and an 11 a.m. service on Sunday mornings in the CLC. We feel that this is the safest place to worship for the foreseeable future because it's a large building, the ceiling is high, we can socially distance easily, and it's easy also to clean. We will continue to show our worship services online, so if you are still unable to attend and have been watching on our video platforms, you can continue to do that. You may notice some changes in when we show those or how we show those, but every week you will be able to worship with us online if that is what you have been doing. When it comes to Sunday school, we are thinking of creative ways that we will be able to be back together and have Sunday school classes using social distancing and the guidelines that the governor has given us. So when Sunday school does come back, it will not be like we were doing it, but there may be some opportunities for some in-person Sunday school classes again. Our Sunday school teachers are meeting this Sunday, and so I hope next week to have some information about what that will look like. When it comes to Sunday school, also I wanted to let you know that Pastor Brady had been very diligently doing videos each week since this pandemic began in the book of Psalms so that you could watch those and learn the Word of God. We will continue to have videos, but Pastor Brady will not be doing them any longer, and those videos will be ones that will be on Right Now Media. So when you go to our online platforms, you will be able to see those videos but again, they will not be from Pastor Brady. But still, if you're watching and learning in Sunday school that way, continue to do that and enjoy the content that you will see from other speakers and other authors. When it comes to YC, tentatively, the youth will be meeting again in person the first Wednesday night of August, and that will be August the 5th. There'll be more information to come from Pastor Brady about what that's, those nights will look like, they will be different than what YC was before the pandemic, but it is exciting to know that youth will be meeting again. When it comes to our children's ministry, we at this time are not going to go back to having nursery or children's Sunday school or our children's ministry on Wednesday night just yet. We are waiting to see what the public schools are going to do when they go back to school this fall as we hear more information about how they're going to interpret and implement the guidelines the governor has given, that'll give us an idea of how we can do children's ministry here at Olive Branch. I'm not necessarily saying that we're going to wait until they go back to school. Some ministry may start sooner, some may start after. We don't know when it's going to start, but we certainly are going to follow uh, really what the public schools will be doing to help us decide how to do children's ministry. Continue to pray. The pandemic is still here. The virus is still around. We still need to pray that God will end it. We need to pray for those that are sick, that they would be healed. We need to pray that God would continue to give us a sanity and a, and a peace in this time that's very difficult in many different ways. There's been good news about the spread of the virus in many parts of our country, but in other parts, we are hearing that the virus is causing more and more cases. And so this makes it even more difficult, and also it seems that once again we are seeing deeply divided stances on these issues of whether to wear a mask or not, to be out or not, or what this virus is going to do or how serious it is. So as I said earlier in this pandemic, I encourage you again to not look down on each other when we have different opinions about the seriousness of the virus or how best to protect our loved ones and ourselves. Those who still want to remain home or still want to limit their interaction with others, let's support them in that. But for those who do want to be more open and want to be out and want to be on vacation and want to enjoy life in those ways, let's not put them down either, but support them in their choice. 
This is a time where we need unity, we need a lot of prayer, and we certainly need God to intervene. So let's pray for those things. God bless. I'll see you again soon.